Hello YouTube. Today I will be showing you how to install Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 in Oracle VM VirtualBox 4.0.8. So anyhow, let's get started. So first you're going to want to create a new virtual machine. Click Next. Name it Windows XP. Give it a gig of RAM. I have hardware virtualization so it's going to be very fast anyway. I would say about 25 gigs is enough. I'll go finish. Now start it. Click OK. Click next on the first one. For the media source, I made an ISO of my XP disk, which I have right over here with me. And I'm going to go grab it. It is a legit copy. A corporate version. Finish. Well, it's loading the set of files at least. So you just have to wait for this to finish. I like VirtualBox, it's a very good uh, emulation program. I would say I prefer it over virtual PC and VM. We're gonna go enter. We're gonna make a partition. I would say you can format fat or NTFS. I'm gonna format fat as it's faster, and it's a virtual machine, so I, I care more about speed anyway. So let's go for fat. Thirty-two. Are the pointer options. Oh, it's not on full. No wonder why I was having trouble moving it. Okay, apply. And if you're wondering about open source programs like OpenOffice, I do highly recommend OpenOffice.org 3.3.0. I do not recommend LibreOffice. It is a, it, it's really bloated, and it's, and for speed wise, it's a, it's, it's slower than Office 2007, Office 2010, and OpenOffice. OpenOffice cannot save in DocX, so I would say use both OpenOffice and Office 2010. I think OpenOffice is better for presentations, whereas Microsoft Office is. It's gonna run great in this virtual machine. I'll make another video of the virtual machine booting when I do it. I'm actually gonna keep it a gig of RAM because I have four gigs and I want to use most of well my other resources while I have XP running. So well, like my other programs, I'm gonna put Office 2007 in it. I'm gonna put uh, GIMP, Photoshop CS3. And Chrome, Opera, Firefox, Lunascape, Thunderbird, AIM, Yahoo Messenger. As I'm going to use this, well, for a work, for well, some programs I don't want to use in Windows 7. I obviously, I might, I'm, I'm probably with this, probably most likely going to use Office 2003 instead of 2007 since. I like 2000. I don't, I'm not a big fan of 2007. 2000 is pretty good, and I have it in Windows 7 now. Put it in a piece, so uh, anyhow, I'm gonna pause the video and we'll continue when when setup is complete. Okay. All right. YouTube. All right, YouTube. Anyhow, this is the continuation of the video. Windows XP is now installed. Let's click OK. OK, and then we're gonna install. We're gonna install the guest tools. Obviously, they're called guest editions. Get pointer integration. I would say this is one of my favorite programs. And let's just stretch the window out a bit. Yeah. Here's fine. Okay. I will use the virtual machine for some things. Obviously, not video editing because you can't turn a VM. No, not the time. I have hardware virtualization, so but if you could video edit a virtual machine, that'd be pretty cool. All right. All right. 
anyhow, I'm gonna install the guest tools right now. So, devices install guest editions. Alright, anyhow, so let's install it. Let's do this to properties page. Hey, what did you eat when I was gone? Besides the oh, candy Hold on. Numbers? Hold on. But anyhow, we're going to now install the guest editions via Toolbox. So let's get started. Let's press M. That'll work. Once this is done, it'll be much faster, obviously. Next. Uh, direct 3D. Nah, let's just go to the additions. Now, yeah, let's exit that. It's going to be just fine now. And then after this, I'm going to pause the video, install my apps, and I'll obviously show you. So I'm off to install my apps. 